you can't you don't know who's gonna score the ball. Um, you don't know who's gonna make the shot. Yeah. Thirty four assists. Pretty good game. Yeah, thirty four assists, high career high three or season high three pointers as well. I guess this is sort of what you sort of envision. Well you you're gonna have a really good shooting game like this and um, OG got it going, uh, I hit some early, Turge hit some, DeMar hit some. Um, everyone hit some threes, and uh, we get we just kept it rolling. Uh, I mean, you're gonna you're not gonna have like nights like this all the time, but it's really good. It looks really good when you have nights like this. Have you seen OG's shooting ability early in the season? Or I didn't see it. I yet? didn't think he could shoot this way, but yeah. I think his confidence is built. I think he's worked on it um, tremendously, and I think he's just continued to get better at it. Serge has been going pretty good for a while now, uh, but the bounce tonight. I mean, he just. Like, I think he dunked four times. He just he took, took a couple days off, you know, rejuvenated himself, and uh, it felt good. He just taking care of his body and understanding what he needs to, to, to get right and to be right for us. And, you know, if he has to take a game and make sure his body's right, that's what we need him to do. End of the first quarter there, you grabbed the you grabbed the, all the bench guys, uh, the second unit, yeah. and, and huddled them. And not to ask you exactly what you said, but what was kind of what was kind of your message? What were you trying to get across? Uh, it wasn't no, ch I, I know what they're capable of. And when they get stops and they get out in transition, no one can stop that unit. And that's where they got to continue to grow. They can continue to understand that when they get stops, they're one of the best teams, units out there. They get stops and they can run and get in transition. They're, they're, un they're really hard to stop. Kyle, the defense is is something too. Like every all this focus on offense, but you guys held them down under 42 percent for much of the game. Uh, it, it, with all the talk on offense early in the year, it, tell me about how good do you think the defense has been? I think that's where we take leads at. I think our defense is is able to to allow us to get our offense going. And I think the when you go and you play good defense, you you play solid defense, you force turnovers, you get good shots, you get easy shots, you get transition looks, you get um, teams in the scramble mode. So I think that's where you know our, our our defense really is creating our offense right now. Further to your point about the end of the first quarter, Casey was saying he's holding you guys to a very higher standard than normal because there's so many good things possible in your future. Do you feel that? or I think we just, we have a goal and I think we're continuing to get better every day. I don't think we're satisfied with, you know, our regular seasons, you know, and, uh, we just want to continue to get better and, you know, it's a long process, it's a, it's a marathon, so we, we understand that, you know, these couple games here and there, the regular season, it means some, it means something, but, you know, we got to continue to build what we're building for the long term. Coach mentioned the, the depth that you guys have this season, how that alleviates not just the production, but also the minutes for the starting unit for you and DeMar. How is having those guys come off the bench and everybody capable of playing double-digit minutes, how does that alleviate some of the stress that you guys have in mean, production last season? Well, I mean, I only played 24 tonight, so, I mean, that makes my body feel better. DeMar only played 27 to 28 tonight. Um, you know, you got guys that can come in and, and produce and do what they're doing and give everybody time to, you know, relax and rest and you can rest in game. So that's big. And uh, I think we just doing a good job of everyone having the confidence to go out there and do their job, play hard, and we're winning games. So it just makes everyone's job a lot easier when everyone can play. Okay, so it was a good start tonight. Uh, you guys seem to be moving the ball. You got a season high 35 assists. Uh, better, better start than usual. Yeah, we did. I thought the ball was moving. Uh, they did a good job tonight. Charlotte did of protecting the paint, so our kickouts were there, pull behinds were there, the rolls. So we took advantage of it, and again, that's the way we got to move the ball. Uh, defense, for the most part, with the exception of the end, was pretty good. You had them down around 42 percent. Point about you know the young guys, you know we're, they're playing to get better. We're not just playing to play the scoreboard. And I thought it, at the end, our individual defense, our collective defense, uh, you know, it, again, we're playing for something bigger. And to get better, we we can't be satisfied with coming out and just trading buckets like it's a a summer league game. But again. Um, you know, you, that's why you learn. That, that the experience they get from this situation is something we got to continue to push. OG was good tonight. I mean, he seemed to, I mean, he's really growing into that role of being a catch and shoot guy and then playing the D at the other end. It really is. The, the, the shooting is really a bright spot. <clears throat> you know, when teams are cracking in and, and crabbing in on DeMar and Kyle, <coughs> excuse me, the weak side is open, he's knocking them down. 
and shooting the ball with tremendous confidence, and that's that's great to see for the young kid. Did you see that in him early, Dwayne? Well, no, not the three-point shooting. It's all the defense, the toughness, the physicality, but the three-point shooting is something he's worked his behind off, and it's really, really improved. And it's you know when it, when he shoots at you, it's like you're disappointed or you're surprised when it doesn't go in. Serge has been going good for a while now, but he seemed to have a bounce in his step that he hasn't had maybe all year even. I mean, well, you know, he's rested. He, you know, took some days off last week, and so he's, you know, I told him he's playing like a young, young Serge. And, uh, he did an excellent job of rebounding, protecting the rim, uh, defending, out there talking. Um, and, you know, then when he had his open shots, he knocked him down. And then the game all about offense. I mean, Jonas kind of set the tone with Dwight early on. I mean, he didn't give him anything. Right, he did. You know, I, he only had four points, but I thought Jonas played solid. Uh, Rebounding-wise, he came in and, and took up space. And, you know, you, you against a guy like Dwight, you got to w- try to wear him down. And I thought the tag team between he and Yach and then Serge Summit 5 really uh, wore Warm down a little bit, and then I thought uh, JV did an excellent job of helping on Batum, helping on Walker, and making sure they clogged up the paint when they tried to come in there. When you get that kind of offensive production from OG and Serge, what's the? How does it alleviate all the pressure on Kyle and Lamar? Well, it takes a lot off. It takes a lot off of both of those guys because now when they do bring a crowd to Kyle and Lamar, you know they're open, and then again that you're just not forcing it. You're not just force feeding it. Uh, you really spread the floor and all your options are there, whether it's the roll, the pull behind, the weak side corner. And I thought our guys did one of the best jobs we did all year of moving the ball, finding, finding an open man. Playing the season high three, season high assist, that's, I guess what you kind of envision yeah. the very start. Yeah, it is. It is. And again, it's, it's a one game, Doug, and yeah. again, we're fighting for consistency. And uh, we'll take that 35 assist and, and continue to be consistent with it. So, so how well do you think you are playing right now? You have a winning offensively, we're, we're, we're playing pretty well. But defensively, like you said, you know, we, this team shot 46%. And uh, again, you know, we can't be satisfied and, and to be ordinary defensively. We want to be a great defensive team. And, and to come in with that attitude and disposition is something that we're going to push, keep pushing the young guys to get better from the defense standpoint. It's just not an offensive game. My turn to work on my offensive game. It's about a getting defensive stops, especially down the stretch. It's a different standard you're holding. Them no question. Have been before. No question. And that's, that's what we're, we're, you know, I thought we had a good defensive game going up to that point. And uh, we came in with a, a lackadaisical, you shoot, I shoot attitude. And we're not going to tolerate that from, from young guys coming into the league. Guys, a uh, season high assists. Um, the ball movement was terrific. I guess this is, you know, other people have been asked this. I guess this is what you guys envisioned or what you thought of when you thought about playing in a different way at, at the end of last year. Oh, uh, yeah, for sure. You know, sharing, sharing, sharing the ball, um, moving it, everybody getting a chance to make a, a, a play, reading the game, you know, and I think it's beneficial for every everybody because it's hard to lock in and key in on one specific player and, you know, um, we still getting better at it, you know, and we still feel like we got a long way to go. You know, we always try to clean up every single thing that we do mess up on so we could be better for the next time. How much more comfortable are you feeling with this? I, I mean, I'm watching your game, and last year I can see times when you would have driven into the paint and taken a short jumper. This year you're kicking it out, the ball's moving, it's coming back. You're obviously feeling more comfortable with this. Yeah, you know, I, I understand me understanding how much attention I draw offensively. You know, I, I kind of have the the world at my hands with every decision that I make, you know, offensively. So it's on me to be able to, you know, make guys better, uh, find guys, put them, make sure they're in the right position um, for us to be the best team we could be, you know, we, and we show it. Did you know, did you know OG was this good a shooter and, and how much do you trust him now? No, we did not know he was this good of a shooter. Me and, me and Cal Nick, nicknamed him uh, Ray. We call him Ray Allen. Uh, uh, Miami Ray, though. Yeah. But, yeah, but, you know, that's one thing. You know, we, 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 we kind of trust him, you know, especially when we give him that nickname. So, uh, you know, it's great to see the young fella being able to have that confidence at a high level. Serge at a different level tonight? Like he, I, don't know, I don't think I've seen him dunk four times in a game. <laughs> I'm with you. I Me mean, either. You know, but Serge's been playing great the last few weeks, and you know when Serge's playing well, it makes everybody else's job that much easier. Nobody could lock in on, you know, especially me and Cal um, defensively, and you know it's great. You know, um, 
it's just fun to see him get it going because, you know, he gets a lot of easy shots and, you know, it makes our job a lot, a lot, a lot more easy. Tomorrow, the defense, every, uh, this, there's all this focus on the offense and the new style and all of that. But tonight, you guys had them down under 42%, and your defensive numbers over the year have been pretty good as well. Yeah, that's another thing that we've definitely been more conscious of more than anything. You know, we want to be one of them top teams um, defensively just as well offensively, you know, because it's going to be a lot of nights where we got to rely on our defense more than our offense at times for us to win games. And, you know, that, that happened. You know, we're going to be in that situation a lot lot this year, so we want to feel comfortable defensively. How much does the added depth in, in this season help, not just physically in terms of your recovery, but also mentally knowing nights and nights that you can have multiple guys put up double-digit points? It's great. You know, the bench uh, won plenty of games for us this year already. You know, we're not even halfway through, and, you know, for for, the, for them group of guys to be able to do that, especially they, they did it in big moments on the road, you know, to have that confidence, you know, it's, 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 it's great because, like I said, like nice tonight where we have a back-to-back, -back, you know, we took care of business. We was able to rest. Now we got a big game tomorrow to look forward to. We still have fresh legs and everything, so that's, that's big.